Though deemed an essential industry, construction was another casualty of the pandemic, in California and across the country. Last year saw more projects cancelled in the United States than were started, the Associated General Contractors of America reported. Construction worker jobs declined in most metro areas. In Southern California, new construction fell 8.6% in 2020, and employment fell 4% as of September, industry data showed. Permits for new homes fell 10% in the region to the lowest number since 2014. Construction fell 29% in the Bay Area, and employment was off by 8%. New home permits fell 22% to the lowest level in eight years. Statewide, construction jobs and new home permits both fell 5%. The roller coaster year of 2020 is over, but not forgotten, Richard Branch, chief economist for construction research firm Dodge Data and Analytics, said in a company news release last month. The scars from the pandemic and recession will be long-lasting and resulted in significant declines across most construction sectors. In the midst of that gloom and doom, Pasadena-based construction company CW Driver Cuz kept busy, working on 40 projects from San Diego to Northridge. Gross revenues were up 15% last year to $615,000. The 102-year-old company, which specializes in construction of school and university buildings, municipal facilities and community centers, announced in January it had just completed the Crown Valley Park Community Building in Laguna Niguel. The $32 million, 30,000-square-foot facility includes a pool, classrooms and fitness areas. The firm also recently completed a kinesiology and athletic facility at Orange Coast College in Costa Mesa and currently is building a new language and social sciences building on that campus. Other projects include fine arts centers, theaters, schools, homeless and animal shelters. We spoke with C-Driver President Carl Kreutziger to find out how the company was able to buck last year's trend. Q. Construction declined in 2020. How were you able to stay so busy? Uh, we never lost focus on our core markets, which is K-12 education, higher education and civic. Those are real reliable markets. They're funded. When we came into 2020, that backlog was already there for us. What we had to do was execute what we had. That really stabilized us going into 2020. We did have some projects that took a temporary pause to figure out the market. But for the most part, we stayed on track. Q. Which projects paused, and why? A. I can think of an office project. You can figure out why that paused. We had a temporary pause on an athletic facility at Pomona College that then started back up again. And I think we had a hospitality project that took a pause. Those were two markets that took a heavy hit. Q. Office and hospitality. Uh, yeah. I think they were just trying to figure out where the market was going, how they were going to rebound. We also have our special projects group. 